it is kind of a fun, chill around the house day today, we want to do something fun, kind of spice up the day, kind of spice up the vlog just a little bit for you guys today. We thought, you guys recall, our Brexy Doodle sat patiently through multiple birthdays this year. You guys, his birthday's at the very end. His birthday is past Brandon, mine, Ryler, Crew, Hazy, Maddie, everyone. If you guys know how crazy our summers are with birthdays, we have so many summer birthdays. And Brex just patiently watches people open presents oh, after presents, going, okay, my birthday's coming, my birthday's coming. Next birthday, presents, presents. Oh, I can't wait till it's my birthday. And he's so good about it. Never really whines or complains. When is it my birthday? Here's what I want. He's so good about it. So we thought it would be kind of nice as we are approaching the birthday season for our Brexy Doodle for you to open up an early gift. Oh. Do you want, you want to open up an early birthday present? Sure. Okay, mom, go get that birthday present for Brexy. Guys, he may need your help opening this gift. It's pretty huge. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. That's Do you think he can open it? It's also very heavy. <laughs> Brexy Doodle, your birthday is not for what? Like a week, week and a half? This is your very first birthday gift of your upcoming ninth birthday. It's like a week Wait, until your birthday. Your I thought you were going to be 11. Dude, you look like you were like 11 or 12. When we go to like the airport and we go through security and they're like, how old is he? And I'm like, uh, 10, 11. How old are you again? Eight. Oh my gosh, you're only eight, not even nine, but about to be nine. Okay, first birthday. I keep wanting to say first gift of Christmas. First the birthday. First gift of Christmas. Of your birthday month. Oh, it's a piece of paper. Oh, a piece of paper. Oh, it's made of my favorite colors and filled with school supplies. Okay. Oh, Tie-dye backpack. Do you think that the right guy's right? Do you think that's maybe your backpack? Tie-dye. Okay, let's go check it out. Go check out your backpack. All right, maybe the backpack. I don't know. What do you think? Check your backpack out. Anything in there besides homework? Oh. Time for some gaming. Time for some gaming. Okay, what's your primary gaming device? Switch. Your Switch? Okay, where's your Switch at? Where Just go check that out. <laughs> the right guy does, you can help him. It's upstairs. Should we go upstairs and look for your Switch? Okay, let's go find your Switch. Check to the left. Brexy you Doodle, your upstairs. first birthday gift is turning out to be a scavenger hunt. Okay, all right. Oh, there it is. Wait, you guys found it? Okay, what's this clue say? Chore time, hopefully my dad will help me with this one. What is that? It's a chore time that I help with. What are you thinking? Always help. Um, dishwasher. You think dishwasher? Okay, let's go check the dishwasher. Let's go back down. Maybe dishwasher. I don't know. I don't know. Rex, you can go first. <laughs> He's collecting clues, guys. He's collecting clues. Head to this right now. This clue was, it's chore time. Hopefully my dad will help me with this one. What do you think? What do I... Oh, right in the silverware. That's the part I usually do, huh? Can't see without them. Okay, okay. Glasses? Glasses, but the clue isn't on your face. Where would it be? Glasses. <gasps> In his room? Okay, should like, we check his room? His glasses are always in his room. Okay, okay, let's go check that. Let's go check there. In your room where your glasses go, let's go check. Yeah. Hazy, good help on that clue. Thank you. We are getting arrested. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're in the room. What do we got? Oh, classic cases, glasses cases. What about like in a glasses cases? Did you check inside of them? No. Try and say. Anything no. in there? I have. Oh, wow. Oh, sheesh. Wow. Okay. Okay. We got another one. What does this one say? Are you collecting all the clues? I love it. We should be counting how many there are. I wonder if there's a significance it's to the number of color, clues. It's colorful and you can wear it. What a fun thing to make. Tie-dye. You can make tie-dye. Colorful and you can you wear it, but where would we have? Oh, I think I know. Brexton, do you want to take a guess or do you want to call in a lifeline and get some help from your brothers? Tie-dye help. Hey, okay, Raga, what do you think? You can make tie-dye tie shirts. We can also make tie-dye shorts. What's something colorful that you make and wear and Brexton loves? Rainbow Loom. Rainbow Loom, oh, maybe. What about Rainbow Loom? Where's your Rainbow Loom set? Let's go see. So where do you have your Rainbow Loom set? I don't know. Where is it? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Oh, is there something in there? What the heck? There's actually a clue in there. Okay, what? Getting hungry, so I better see what's in the Okay. Pantry. Oh. Could have been fridge, but pantry? I think that's probably right, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, oh anything in here? Snacks. Wait, oh, is there a clue in there? What the heck? This is so perfectly orchestrated. Okay. <laughs> Gotta do this every morning before school. Brush your teeth. Oh. Genius, genius. Where do you brush your teeth at? Right there. Okay, oh okay. When reality gets boring. When reality gets boring, what do we do? Yeah. 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 to the VR! Yeah. 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 To the VR. VR. A VR case, maybe? Oh, there. Wow. Okay, okay. When it's cold and a blanket is enough, I get. Isn't warm enough, right? Does it say blanket? Get, okay. Get warm by the. I get warm by the what? Fire. Okay, so we're thinking maybe fireplace? Oh. Wait! Whoa. What? So, so, guys, do you have any clue what's in here? Does anybody have a clue? I have a clue. <laughs> Stand you can stand by while he opens the door, but stand on the sides of it, okay? Brexy Doodle, let me tell you something. This is your first gift of your ninth birthday. You've been very excited to give it to you. You've waited very patiently, and you can rip the heck out of that top. Punch it open, buddy. Rip oh. it, rip it! Oh my god. What is it? Disneyland. Are we going to Disneyland for your birthday? 
Yes, we are! Disneyland Bros! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh We're going to Disneyland <laughs> on your birthday, bro. We will be in Disneyland. <laughs> Is that insane? What? Guys, we leave the day before, you know, two days before your birthday, I think. We'll We're doing Birthday. We're doing California Adventure one day and Disneyland on your actual birthday and guys get this staying at the Grand Californian on Disney property You walk right out into the park no way. extra early magic hour. That's We're so doing good. the whole thing you guys yes. <laughs> I thought it would be a big box and a tiny box for an Apple watch <laughs> Still not your birthday. This is just your first gift. So Brexy Doodle, what do you think of your first gift your birthday? I love it. Where did you say you wanted to be on your birthday all year long you said? Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> and that's where you're gonna be bro because you deserve it and we love you. Another extra bonus, we're just telling the kids all about what's going down, when we're going, all the fun things we have planned, the things we're gonna do. But as an added bonus, you guys, we're taking somebody with us on this vacation. We have never taken on a vacation in our lives. We've never been on a vacation with this couple, I'll tell you that. Hazy girl, I wanna hear a guess from you. I think it's Mona Reese because she never <laughs> Guys, it is. We're taking Mona and Papa Reese to Disneyland with us. They haven't been in when? Have they been? I was 17 when we went last. They haven't what? been in 30 years. I know. That would make you 47. Hey, okay. <laughs> Guys, they haven't been in forever. They're coming with us. They're staying with us. They're doing the park with us. They're going to be there on your birthday. So we're all going together, guys. So excited! <laughs> but wait! There's more, Rock. I just said, oh, geez, it doesn't stop ever. But we got to do one last little final first gift. Can you have a final first gift? I don't this know. This is a final first gift. To add to the excitement and flair of this day, this moment, this incredible opportunity. Mom, honestly, what do we have? You have a shirt to wear while you're there. Oh. Ninth birthday, bro. Check Freaking that out, dude. Is that you. sick? <laughs> so you're gonna wear that on your birthday in Disneyland. Guys, you don't know, it's been a very long time since we've been to Disneyland. Yeah. I know that seems crazy, but we went to Disney oh, yeah. World twice. I was like, I just Mom went there. to Disneyland without us. <laughs> That's okay, we got her first. You're in Disneyland? <laughs> we haven't been to Disneyland also in probably Avengers two years, campus. right? The Avengers campus. Well, I'm trying to look up when the last time we went to Disneyland was because we have done Disney World twice in the last couple years, which is remarkable. We got to get in one early in 2020, and then we got to do another one earlier this year, but Disneyland has been quite a while, you guys. We did go to Disneyland. At the end of October, two years ago. So we haven't been 2019. Yeah, in two years, we've been to Disney World twice. Guys, it'll be almost an exact two-year anniversary because we're going the first part of November, end of October. So, dude, that's cool. And, guys, you might not remember this, you haven't been here for a while, but our 100K celebration was comboed with Brexton's birthday in Disneyland. So this is not the first birthday he has spent in yes, Disneyland. Yes, dude, you've had a birthday in Disneyland. Yeah. Brexton Doodle celebrating his ninth birthday in Disneyland. We cannot wait to take you guys along with us. We We're wanted to let so him know excited. early. And you know, we are taking my parents. That's really exciting. And Disneyland then, is our most jam. Most of all, you get to celebrate this boy. And he waits all year long and is so patient. One of the reasons, you guys, that we wanted the surprise a little bit early is one, so you can build the anticipation of a fun epic birthday. <laughs> What is so fun is just counting down the days, the moments till you get to go. We thought about waiting up until like day up because those are very fun, epic surprises where you just go, I surprise pack your bags, we're going to Disneyland today, which we've done. Bags are packed, we're going to Disneyland right now. It's very yeah. fun to do that. Very but we thought it would be kind of cool for Brexit to have something to count down for. So I think what we might do, take a paper chain like we did for the Disney World trip. And Hazy had a paper chain, she pulled the little chains off of. What day is it? Disney World Day. It's gonna be a pretty short chain, bro. We're going very soon. Yeah, we'll be coming home two weeks from today. Trip to Disneyland for you, your birthday in Disneyland. To Disneyland. Me? What? Are you so serious? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Can I bring Papa? Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. Are you so excited? Yeah. Hello. Hello and good morning, everyone. Early morning, I should say. Guys, you guys, we were up at what five? Did you say your alarm? I got up at five o'clock. I got up at five thirty. Actually, it was five fifteen because I, I couldn't like sleep because she turned on the light in the bathroom and it woke me up. Wake up! We're up, we're going. Something kind of crazy. If you didn't know, we're going to California. We're on our way to Disneyland to celebrate Brexton's birthday in Disneyland. We are so excited. As an added bonus, we are taking Mana and Papa, Mindy's parents, who have not been on a vacation in like two decades. They haven't been to Disneyland in who knows how long, since I think Walt was there himself. Oh, but stop. kind of as a funny thing as we were thinking about time, one of the things that the kids love to do when we travel the different time zones, and they go, okay, so if it's this time here, what time is it in my body? They love saying that. Guys, with daylight savings time, we're headed to an early preview of what Utah time will be. Yeah. When we get back because we're gonna set our clocks back an hour so right now It's five o'clock in the morning in California. I'm so we're basically just headed to our own time zone But it's a good preview when we come home. There shouldn't be any adjustments
adjusting to do whatsoever. We should be good. Other than this is the time change whenever it gets dark at like five. Oh, you guys, at night. it gets so dark at night. But that's not coming up yet. That's not until the end of We're this trip. We're gonna party hard, and then fall completely comes in. If you guys know how we run it, we run it all the way till the wheels come off at Disneyland. They've got the yeah. fireworks shows are back. Disneyland's open till eleven o'clock at night. We're gonna be going so crazy. It's gonna be so much fun. First thing we gotta do: load up the car, get Mon and Papa, get yeah. to the airport, get on our flight, get there. We've got some fun stuff planned for today because we're getting there pretty early today. We're going to downtown Disney. We got some fun dinner reservations tonight. Today is a little bit different because we are flying into LAX. So we have an hour long drive when we get to the airport to our hotel. So today's going to be a little bit of it's an It's going to be a fun cozy drive. We're all packing in the Suburban, taking an hour trip down to Disneyland. Going to be insane. It's going to be so much fun. Are you guys ready for Disneyland? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good energy for six in the morning. Let's go. just arrived at the Salt Lake City Airport and we are in our long-term economy parking. We met up with Mana and Papa, they are here. They're joining us on this flight, on this vacation today and they showed up with goodies, you guys. She brought everybody their own little carry-on baggie of freeze-dried candies. We've got milk studs in here, we've got big honks and of course, frittles, our favorite. That's the way to start a vacay. Now, dude, is this yours? Are we put this in your bag? No, I already have mine in your bag, that's yours. This is mine? Yep. <laughs> We've never had so few bags in our lives. We have one big bag, one medium bag for the entire family. This is such a convenient way to travel. It is a cold start to the morning, but look how cool that is as the sun just starts to come up over there. You've got those different gradients of blue Let's in the sky. It. Oh my gosh, there's mom. Hi, mom. You're ready to get on the shuttle. So we're going to wait here. I'm thinking it maybe is it heated in there, guys, or no? Not heated in there. Okay, well, thank you, Salt Lake City Airport. Thankfully, got a shuttle on its way. Sun is rising. We're getting on the plane. We're headed to California. Are you ready to go to Disneyland, baby? Let's go. <laughs> We are through security. It was the breeziest security run we've ever had. As you guys know, we love the TSA pre-check. Ragai just got his pre-check, got the number back in time, so we were able to fly through there. But Mana and Papa, not having traveled much, they're not doing the pre-check. So Mom went with them through the normal security. So we're chilling here, waiting for them. She's helping them through that process. They haven't been in an airport in a very long time. Now this airport is all new in the last like year or two. They haven't been to an airport in like 20 years. All of this is new to them. Check-in process was a breeze. They were impressed with all the technology involved. TSA is a lot of fun here. They have these bins that just pop out automatically you set your stuff in a new bin pops out after that the Salt Lake Airport is pretty legit we're just chilling here waiting for them to come out just outside security getting our devices charged up games Woo! downloaded I'm snacks sorry. ready to rock and I think we're gonna grab something to eat because we haven't had breakfast yet and get on the plane Mom just got done going through security with her parents. How was it? Uh, you know, it was pretty great for my mom and I, but my dad got the royal treatment. He got the full pat down. The full pat down. <laughs> well, he left his wallet as he went through security, <laughs> which is like, if you're used to it being there, you don't think of it. He had to do the whole pat down. Welcome um, back to traveling, Papa. I know. <laughs> Getting on the plane on our way to We're doing it, much Disney. warmer weather, hopefully. It is cold here today. We're ready for some sun and fun in Southern California, baby. Disneyland, here we come. Let's do it.
you have an idea where we are based on these glorious, delicious palm trees over there? We are in California, you guys. Guys, we are in LA, we're in baby. LA, yes. LA, Woo! oh, why you got your hoodie on, bro? It's I've hot. got mine on. LA. It's like to be cozy. I know. This is how we do live and die in LA. Anyway, guys, we have arrived. LAX, Los Angeles Airport, craziest place I've ever been in my life. Yes, it I've was been to some crazy so places. Busy. That was busier than like a Coachella at its peak. It was insane. It was so gnarly in there. So many people. Got a rental car, jumped on the freeway, realized we're here kind of early and we're all hungry. We are a little bit hungry. We have a dinner reservation at dinner time, so we're like, we should eat earlier. Eat now so we can be hungry for dinner. Plus, we've never had Raisin Cane's chicken before. No. So we thought, why don't we stop at one, grab some lunch, get some Raisin Cane's chicken, we've then we're going to head to our hotel. Got to try it. What did you think of Raising Cane's? Was it pretty good? Amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was, wow. It was good, wow. Okay. but I think I like other places better. Mindy, how Personal. dare you? How dare you? We're in their parking lot. Okay, it was good Let's though. Let's get out of the parking lot. Let's get out of the parking lot before you speak bad about their name. No, I thought it was good. It was our first time. It was fantastic. But guys, we got much bigger, better things to come, including oh, yeah. bigger, better food, bigger, better rides, bigger, better Hotel. fun, bigger, better hotels. So speaking of the hotel, it is time to head off to the Disney's Grand Californian Hotel. Californian? California? Californian. Either way, we're on our way. Let's go. Have arrived at the Disney's Grand this Californian. Is literally, this is your so first time here, right? Cool. <laughs> it's so dope like, because I love the massive, here. great room. You got people oh, playing the piano over there right now. It yeah. is gorgeous. It's inside oh the park, God. so actually you walk straight out from the hotel yeah, into the California, kind of and then also the Disneyland is very nearby as well. But we got our rooms ready. Got some adjoining rooms. We got Monopop around the corner. Let's go drop off our bags. I say we go hit Downtown Disney. Yeah, let's go. We are checked into our room. Grand California Hotel. This place, this place is, is so, so legit. It is so sick. We've just been hanging out in the lobby because it's so cool while they finish it's getting so our room ready. We do have adjoining rooms, I think, right, Mom? So there's a yes, door right I there that should connect the two rooms. We've got a few of us in here. A few of us in the room right next door. But, Ragai, show them what we just saw. You yeah. guys remember when we went to, what was that, the Riviera Hotel yes, in yes, Florida? Yes. Had these really cool built-in things where you just pull this down. Fun artwork right there. Look at that. You got Bambi right back there. And another sure. bed. So I if you wanted to, that could be your bed. You could sleep with Bambi. I how cool is that? I'm gonna give you a quick and dirty tour of the Disney Grand California Hotel because you may have heard of how great and amazing and awesome it is. I will tell you the rooms are fairly basic for what you pay, but you're paying for the proximity to the park and that access to the park. What you got here, you got a pretty decent bathroom, two sinks here, shower, toilet, very basic. Come out here. This is kind of nice. I don't know what's in here. What is in here? I just want to check. Oh, that's your little mini fridge. Okay, perfect. Desk setup, TV, two queen beds. As you saw this day bed and a balcony. That's the whole thing. I don't know why there's all these wavy lines in the video right now. This area right here, kind of nothing, but because we got the adjoining rooms, guys, we got a stroller to put all of our coats and stuff in. You've got mom in here. Tons of fun. Uh, sorry. Plenty of room for bags. This is for girls only. Oh, girls only. Sorry, I'll head back to the boys' room. Hey, are you playing on this yeah, personal baby? Wait, hold on a it. sec. So you're telling me... I get two beds. <laughs> she sleeps there. You have two beds. How did that I'm work out? I'm actually going to sleep like this. <laughs> you could if you wanted to. There it is, guys. The big grand tour you of know, our two rooms. Brandon tell you this. The hotel is awesome. It's not like it's any bigger than a normal room. Like he said, you're paying to be right next to the park. You have yeah. your own little entrance. Super awesome. Very convenient. So I think it's going to be great. I think we're going to love it. It's going to minimize the walking for Mon and Papa, which is our yes. main priority on this one, is making sure they have the most Sorry, fun possible with the least amount of walking but speaking of walking you guys we're gonna go ahead and settle in get all our bags unpacked get <gasps> things set up here in our rooms then we're gonna hit downtown disney because we've got a lot left on tap yet today you guys we're gonna yeah. do a little bit of shopping perhaps yes and then we have a fun reservation for dinner tonight and Can't at wait dinner we're gonna be giving braxton his birthday presents he has no idea you will want to watch the end of the vlog and see what he's getting he has no clue but he's gonna want it love it and use it at the park a little teaser for you there Ooh. Mom and Papa's room straight over there. So that's their balcony. We're hanging out over here with this room. And then that room right next door. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're waiting for the monorail to go through here. It's kind of cool. The Disney monorail goes right through here. And I don't know if that's through the hotel or what, but right through there, it goes this way. I've seen a couple come by. What is in there? It's so cool. I wonder where that goes.
came out to do a little bit of free shopping before we head out to dinner tonight. It's all decorated for and Christmas. And it's all decked out in Christmas, you guys. We've got Christmas lights all the way through the store. We've Does got... that mean we should go home and put up our tree? No, Mindy, not oh. yet. Okay, we can go home and set it up. I wanted to come in here, check out what they've got. And I am shocked at how like Christmassy it is, but they still have I did not all expect the favorites. That. Full Christmas now, but also a lot of just traditional stuff. So kids walking around looking at some things. I don't know if we're gonna do any souvenir shopping now. We're just kind of walking, killing some time, hanging out in downtown Disney because the exit from our hotel into downtown Disney actually is right at the restaurant that we'll be eating at. Yes, so we have perfect. a lot of time to kill. Just enjoying being here, feeling that Disney love and spirit and that happy vibe. Oh my gosh, it's the greatest place on earth. Next up, we are gonna be having Brexton's birthday dinner. They're just over there. I wanted to show you how cool this is with the proximity of our hotel to this downtown Disney the restaurant. That is the entrance to our hotel right in between those columns, right there, those pillars. You whip around this way, and that is the restaurant that we have reservations at tonight. This pizza joint right there, pretty rad. Everything very, very nearby, very close. We're gonna probably eat some dinner, give Brexton his birthday gifts, and I'll see we go to bed, dude, because I wanna charge up for an epic day tomorrow. We wanna hit the park hard, wanna have the energy to do that, have a ton of fun, and I'm feeling kinda tired. Yeah, I'm super tired, but we gotta get rest, because tomorrow we're gonna run it hard. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Before we get our dinner, we just ordered our pizza. We were waiting for it to be cooked in that wood fire grill over there. It looks good over there. But Brexy Doodle's having a birthday coming up, and we wanted to do presents tonight, bro. Is that cool with you we do presents tonight? Because we thought we are going to be in the park tomorrow, in the park the next day. We may not get a chance to do your birthday presents unless we do them now. So, if you got the energy, if you're up for it, I know we've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. I know. Should we do your birthday presents right now? Sure. Okay, all right, let's do it. Here we go. Super tired, but maybe you'll get energized when you open this present. <laughs> what is it, Brexy? Apple one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a sweet thing to do, you little handsome stud. What band is that? That's what? navy because you know how much you love blue, so that's a navy band. Yeah, you like I'm it? like, is that blue? Freaking apple one. I saw, I was picking it up, and I saw this at the bottom, and I'm like, I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> So Brexy Doodle, we want to get this set up tonight, get the whole thing ready to rock, so then that way you've got a phone number, we can track you, know where you are, call you, text you, everything, and you know what we love to do when we're in Disneyland? Put the Mickey face on our Apple watches while we're here. We want you to be able to do that on this trip, dude. Does that sound cool? Yeah. I love you, bro. You're probably going to want that, too. Oh, how about a little protector and a bumper to keep it safe in the park, huh, buddy? <laughs> That's pretty cool. What do you say? Thank you. Brexy Doodle, we will set that watch up back at the hotel, get it full okay. dialed in before we go to bed, before we hit the parks tomorrow, but the pizza just showed up, so let's eat, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Back in the room now, we had delicious dinner. In fact, that pizza was some of the best I've ever had. Fantastic so pizza. And then we had to finish off with obviously a sweet treat. So we got some delicious ice cream at Salt and Straw. That's yeah, my favorite ice cream place ever. So good. It's not my favorite, but it was very good. Sorry, Rockwell at home's better. And then we are now finally back. Brexton's been so patient to unbox and open his brand new Apple Watch. Jesse. And we're gonna put our Disney watch faces on tonight. Oh God, okay, so we gotta excited. set this up though. Let's get you a phone number and everything. Let's do it. Oh, there's nothing oh, else like that. Oh, it's fresh tech. Just pull it Fresh out. tech. <laughs> Bro, you can't really tell on the camera, but this is this beautiful navy blue. Brexton loves navy blue and yellow. And this is a very beautiful blue. This like Brexy. Beautiful blue eyes. I love it. Me. Is that you, Hazel? Hey. 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 We've got Brexy Doodle's watch on, ready to rock. This is gonna be so much fun. Joining the Apple Watch Club. And oh you guys, my gosh, I'm kicking so off excited. this birthday weekend with a bang. You guys wish Brexton a happy birthday. Hit that like button and stay tuned for every video because they're all dedicated to our Brexy Doodle as we celebrate his birthday here in Disneyland. Nine years old, where has the time gone? The most happy and magical place on earth, guys. Come back tomorrow. We're going to kick things off in Disney's California Adventure. Going to be nuts. We walk straight into the park. Already got an entire agenda written down on Brexy's journal. Oh. We're going to be doing Soaring Over the World, Web Slingers. We've never seen the Avengers Campus. Incredicoaster, one of our favorite roller coasters it's in the world. So cool. Come back. Don't miss it. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.
we're in California we are Adventure. We're in California Adventure. And you guys, if I can even tell you, that is our hotel right there. We walked right out of our own entrance to the park. It doesn't even open for 15 minutes. So we are literally wandering the empty California Adventure theme park right now. We are walking into California Adventure. It feels like the park is shut down just for us now. Of course, it's going to get busy here in a little bit. It's going to be no filled way. with happy, fun, people I'm having the time the of time. their lives at Disneyland and California Adventure. But because we have our pick of where we want to go, where we want to start the day, we thought it might be smart as Web Slingers is no longer a virtual queue. It is just yes. a standby line. If we want to get into probably one of the hottest rides here because it is what? brand new, Marvel's Avengers Campus, we've never seen it. It's really cool. Mom's been on the Web Slingers ride, but we haven't. The kids never have. So to break in with something brand new that we've never done, experience we've never done before, we thought let's head straight to Web Slingers, get Avengers Campus. Ooh, Cars Ride is also a really good one oh, to head to. Cars Ride is a great oh, That might even be smarter. I that can get up to like two cars. hours. Let's do Cars. Change of plans. We might do cars. cars. We don't know. We don't know. We're still debating. We're walking through an empty park. Guys, it is empty. Are you seeing behind us? There is just us in the park. This, this is, is so nuts. Cool. I've never experienced this before. We are about churro stand. That's it's not open though, Mindy. It's not open yet. You can't have 18 churros at though. Is this it? Hold on. This, this needs is... to have your name on it. This is the one she bought the 18 churros this and brought where them I home. I bought most of them because it's the closest one to our hotel. <laughs> this is the closest one to the entrance. Mindy, they should carve your initials on the side of this churro stand. This is where she bought 18 churros and That's brought them home to you right here from that stand. stand. Mindy, I think we need a quick little picture for this. Ready? Three, two, one. Cha -ching! Um, we are wandering back now, just making our way through the park, heading to whatever our first ride is going to be. I can tell you it's not going to be the Grizzly Rapids because gonna do that it's a little all. chilly. You can see we've got jackets on, cloud cover today. It's going to be probably not wet, it's not going to rain. Where are we going? Oh, so here's where they do a Pixar Pier. It's my favorite place on Pixar earth. Pier I love Pixar Pier. Pier. Guys, Pixar wait, hold on. Rexy Doodle, we need to get our Apple Watches with Pixar watch faces. Right before here. we get started, before we get started, let's do it. Everybody sync up your Pixar faces. Hey, what is it? We got Buzz, we got Buzz. Okay, I think we're all Pixar out. You guys ready to do this? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's go. Just added two, three more Apple Watches. To the Pixar Watch Face Club. We got Mana, Papa, Mom in here. Everybody All rocking there. And then tomorrow we switch them to Mickey Mouse, okay? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Guys, this is awesome. Right, Let's guys. do this. Wait, should we should do like a little. Adventure yeah. On three. Doing California Adventure? Yeah. Yep. One, One, two, two three. three. California, California Adventure! Adventure! <laughs> Five minutes to rope drop. Five minutes to rope drop. Hold on, I had to do this really quick. It's gonna embarrass my guy really, really quick. This dude has gotten so many compliments on his hair. Like, we will randomly be checking in for a flight and somebody oh, will walk by you. and be like, great thank hair. You. Crew, your hair's amazing. Mickey ears. Brexy Doodles got the Mickey ears. That's what I'm talking about. And, Brexton, show him the pin, dude. A birthday right boy here. pin. Happy birthday. Even though it's tomorrow, we're gonna get two days out of that. You know what I'm saying? It's the birthday weekend. Okay, back to Rye Guy's hair. But, dude, I've never seen a guy get so many compliments on his hair. Like, when people walk by on the streets, like, oh, you're having a good hair day. I'm like, man, he's my son. Like, I get where he gets that from, right? Like, yeah, it's obvious where that hair comes from. Like, look, look at that. Yeah. I don't even, am I looking in a mirror? What, which one is which? <laughs> I'm sorry, I think you mean me. Yeah, probably could see that his hair oh came from there. Oh my gosh, we're like twins. He just loves me. He just tells me. Right there's a bunch of people looking at you right now. This is my son. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Seriously, dude? I don't even know, bro. Is yeah. this right? Okay, comment below. Is this Ryler dude, or Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Go, Rock Guy, go, 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 go! Rexon, go! Get us a ride, get us a ride! Oh, we're in Disney! Crazy, let's go! Guardians of the Galaxy right there, that's going down. Incredicoaster, that's going down. Eating at Fisherman's Wharf, maybe, I don't know. Look at everybody running to Cars Land up there. Look at them running. Oh my gosh, they are literally sprinting up there. Look at that. Clearly, everyone knows the Cars hack. Look at these, this rush of people. That's like somebody opened up the the waves of people coming in from the front entrances back there. Everybody making a rush to the Cars Land right now. We want to do this. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to get any shorter. Hello. Brexton's people right there. Hello. Hazel, what time is it? I will admit, as I saw the entire park rushing to the Cars ride, I said, I can't believe we're doing this. We're one of the suckers. This is going to waste our whole morning. I don't want to start with a huge long line. I didn't actually complain that much. I've been he in a great it. mood. But this line is flying. Flying. Yes. This is the shortest it'll be all day for sure. It looks like it was going to be long. And he goes, we should have just been more vocal, guys. I should have been more vocal. I should have said Web Slingers. I we shouldn't have done Soren. this. We'll come back later. And then I started moving fast and I was like, stick with me, guys. Stick with me. Cars is the way to start the day. <laughs> First ride of the day, Cars Ride. Hazy Girl, are you ready to go? Woo! We got Mana, Papa, Rye Guy, and Brex in the car right behind us. That's them right there. This is us right here. We're already on Cars Ride. Let's go, baby. This is the chill part. This is the chill part. Woo! It's scenic. It's beautiful. I'm in Disneyland. I'm the happiest man alive. Cactuses. Cacti is what they actually call them. Waterfall. Ready for a waterfall? It's coming. Woo! 
Now, guys, say congratulations on your victory, first, on your birthday. First place, you beat us. How was that to start off things? It was so fun. That was so cool, you guys. It was the perfect ride. Where do you want to go now? Web Slingers? Should we check the wait time? Yeah, I really want to get some breakfast. Oh, dude, we got to eat. We haven't yeah. even eaten. Oh, my gosh, I'm too caught up in the fun. So that was the perfect way to start the day. Rexy Doodle, did you like starting the day that way? Yeah. I think that was exactly what we needed. But we haven't had breakfast yet. So mom is doing a mobile order for pickup right now. One of her favorite places, the PNY Kitchen. Wait, is this PNY Kitchen or no? PYM. PYM, whatever. It's him. It's a delicious kitchen inside of? Marvel's? Avengers. Inside of the Avengers campus. campus. So we have not been to the Avengers campus yet. So she's going to order us up some food. We're going to head there. And then probably after we eat, go on web slingers. Because that's not like a thrill ride necessarily. It's almost like a combination of virtual reality where you shoot webs out of your hand with computer technology. I don't know how it works. Never been on it, kids never been on it, we've never even seen the Avengers campus finish before. We're gonna get some food, get our bellies full, and go head off for some web slinging with our boy Spidey. We've never been in here before. I've been up to this wall and it said coming soon. We are in and on Avengers campus. Love the music playing right now, you guys. This just gives you chills walking in this place. Look at this. This is my very first PYM kitchen experience. Mom did this when she came on her girls trip. We were all jealous of her cinnamon French toast. This is it right here with some bacon, a little mini egg, a tiny little fork, a little shot of syrup. That's what almost everybody got, but Rye Guy, dude, what did you get, bro? That looks good. I got eggs, scrambled eggs, bacon, Parmesan tater tots, I think, orange juice, and whatever this is. Is that just bread? Yeah. This egg looks fantastic. Tots are amazing. Let me have one. They're incredible. So pretty decent breakfast here on the Avengers campus, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts were so good, we had to get two more orders of them here. We'll share these. Put this one on the other table. We ate in her castle at Disney World. Cinderella. Not Woody, but the other main toy. But. You're wearing her ears right now. You're wearing ears right now. Minnie Mouse. Yep, yeah. correct. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. We have this really cool self replicating feature. The very first time on Web Slingers, we're getting inside that thing. It closes the doors and we're off. I mean, it's the first time for you. Oh, way to rub it in, Mom. Cool. Look how cool this thing is, you guys. Eight we found is the magic number because with eight, we get to take up like two cars of things. This so we are perfect. perfect. Four here, four here. We get this entire pod to ourselves, guys. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Way too much fun out of the gates here. We've been here like two and a half hours. I just checked the camera. We've got 114 Whoa. video clips already. Oh, I gotta God. slow down, but I'm loving it. It's just so fun to be back. We haven't been in Disneyland been in two plus years. We've never done the web slingers. We've never seen Spider-Man hurl himself across buildings like he that just was did. Crazy. That was insane. We gotta go look up how they do that after this. And now we're gonna go on one of our all-time classic favorites, Soarin' Over the World. Used to be Soarin' California, now it's Soarin' Over the World. Pretty decent wait time. The park doesn't feel that busy. Like I feel like it's a yeah, pretty it's decent day. Busy. The weather's fantastic. We got the stroller, you guys. So that we could take jackets, bags, things like that, and stick them in the stroller. But Hazy ended up being in there the whole time, though, so yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got that. Plus, it's a storage place for our stuff. The cameras, when we can't take them on the rides, we're gonna do Soarin' of the World. And then I believe after that, maybe Incredicoaster. The kids wanna yeah, get some I'll thrill rides. They wanna get into the Incredicoaster. What else is a big roller Guardians. coaster right here? Guardians, that's the other big one.
finished up on Soren around the world. Turns out Mana is deathly afraid of heights. I think we kind of either forgot that or didn't realize how paralyzing the fear is. So not her favorite ride of the day. Taking a break from rides, grabbing a churro because we've been in the park for three hours without a churro. Finally grabbing our first churro of the day and then we're going to head over to the Incredicoaster. The kids have been dying to get in the thrill ride. Roller coaster of some kind, either Guardians, Incredicoaster. So we're going to hit up Incredicoaster, walk on over there with our churros and mom is in the back making fun of me. One of my favorite places in the entire park, the Pixar Pier. It's got Incredicoaster, Toy Story Mania, and my favorite treat in all of Disneyland. Pixar Pier Punch. Pixar Pier Punch, which I think is actually <laughs> Pixar Pier Parfait. I don't know if we said the right word, but it's basically like this slushy with a frozen lemon ice cream. It is insane. We're definitely getting that, but it's also home of the Incredicoaster, which we are going on next. Yeah. We're about to get on an Incredicoaster and it occurs to me, Hazy's never been on this. Yes. Last time we were here was over two years ago. You would have been four. I don't think you were tall enough. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. You are not. You've been on Cannibal twice. You've been on every thrill ride there is. I think you're excited. That's what you are. I know, I know. <laughs> we're all split up. We've got Brex and crew going together. Ryler and Papa. Me and Hazel. Hazel, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Hazy girls, we're gonna count us down and then we launch. Are you ready? Rexy Doodle on Toy Story Mania, Midway Mania, one of our favorite rides on one of our favorite places, the Pixar Pier, going down right now. The competition is gonna get heated because I'm not gonna video this time, I'm actually gonna play. Are you ready for this? Yeah. So we have found a perfect spot to grab a bite to eat, taking a quick break and a pause in the action because we do love to eat the food here. We had a great breakfast. Time for an equally delicious lunch. We're thinking corn dogs at the Corn Dog Castle, Mickey pretzels, some of our favorites. If you guys didn't know, we actually had those for Easter dinner in Disney World this year. A little embarrassing to admit that, but it was awesome. But Brexy, we found a spot to sit. We're not with mom. Could you text her real quick and let her know that we found a spot? Yeah, we found a spot. This dude loving his Apple Watch so much. What percentage are you at right now, buddy? Let's check, 23. 23% left on his battery on his Apple I'm like at 86. He's been on to the entire line. He's absolutely I loving it. Like For crew, we got Mickey, Mickey pretzel, pretzel with a nacho cheese pretzel dipping pretzel sauce. Ever. It's our honest to goodness favorite soft pretzel in the world. Love it. Rexy got the same thing, nacho cheese. And then the rest of us are all getting corn dogs, I think. <laughs> We 
we have had a delicious lunch. Corn dogs. Got my rag guy here. Hair still looking pretty on point. Okay, good. We're gonna go grab our favorite treat in probably all of the Disney parks. Yeah. It is the Pixar Pier parfait or punch. We can't remember. We're gonna I find out right punch. now. I think it's punch. I think it might be parfait because I never got the three piece. Anyways, it's got a slushy. It's, punch. it's got lemon ice cream in it. Soft serve. Yeah. Delicious. When it melts, it makes this vibrant green color. It's well, you gorgeous. Gotta eat it faster, else it just goes. Bleh. Yeah, it does melt pretty quick. But it's on the Pixar Pier. Grabbing it right now. That is when it's my favorite part. It's a perfect combination of mixture of blue raspberry icy with the lemon ice cream. We determined that actually the name is factually, actually, and realistically a parfait. It's parfait. What? We call I it a punch. Like we like Pixar punch. punch. It sounds cooler. That's when it's my favorite. This moment right here when it turns Pixar green. Punch. And it turns your mouth so yellowish greenish. <laughs> we like it so much, we're back again. Let's go! Set somewhat. I don't think it's set. It might be behind fog. We can't tell. Go to it. Got our jackets back out. It was actually like scorching hot today. Guys are super hype or something. I don't know what. Crazy hot earlier today. The sun went down. Our jackets are back out, and we are ready to do one ride. We have not yet done, but everyone has it on the top of their list to do. What is it, guys? The Guardians of the Galaxy. So here we are on the Avengers campus right now. We've got the jet behind us, but just behind that is the Guardians Tower. We are going to go right now, right to the top, and then drop like it's hot. Right, guy, what are you looking at? Mom's Up taking a picture like of us. Mom's taking a picture of us. Make sure you check it out on our Instagram. This is how we bring them. Ah! Woo! <laughs> We're messing around with the Max Lens Mod. That's why we look like we are in a snow globe. I won't do this for very long. I just want to see what it looks like before we get on Guardians of the Galaxy, the breakout. Right, guys, are you ready to go to the top and send it? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> One last ride of the night, it's the family favorite in Credit Coaster. Let's go! It's kinda cool at night. Shutting down our first day here at California Adventure. It is so fun. What did you guys think? Here. It was it so, so fun. fun. We loved it. We had such a good day. The kids were adventurous. Mana and Papa were adventurous. I feel like everyone just had so much fun. We ate so many good treats. Honestly, we did absolutely everything we wanted to do. And I said, if we don't do Incredicoaster three times, this will have been a fail. We just rode it for our third time today, you guys. And I gotta say this because we didn't really have the camera with us when we finished Guardians. Guardians is a hundred times cooler it's so than I remember. Much fun. That is so much fun, I didn't you guys. Ride it. But like the music, the scenery is so cool. Cool, the up Let's and down, it was so awesome, you guys. So We have a super fun day planned for tomorrow, and you guys, it's Brexton's birthday tomorrow, so we're gonna be celebrating all day for him. He's turning nine, wearing this button, gets him all the happy birthdays <laughs> all day long. So make sure you come back. We love you guys so much. Jeez. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.
Good morning, everyone. We're Welcome here back. again. We we are in Disneyland. We are walking through downtown Disney, get to Disneyland to celebrate in the biggest way possible for Brexton today. He is turning nine years old. November 6th, this boy came into the world in a big fashion. It's the birthday boy. <laughs> it's my ninth birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, dude. We already started off the day with a fun little birthday gift, little birthday banner in the hotel room. Great start to the day. Perfect weather. We're so excited to crush every ride today at Disneyland. Stick with us. It's going to be insane. Brexton's birthday, we're going to go all out. Park doesn't close until 11 o'clock tonight. Night. We're we gonna are need there a break during the day. pretty much at rope drop. It opens at 8. It is 8 o'clock right now. So we are headed into the park to celebrate this boy's birthday, his ninth birthday, getting happy birthdays from everybody with that birthday pin on. And he has the cutest birthday shirt on, so he is getting all the attention. It's so fun. Okay, all right. The birthday boy is in the park. Seeing Mickey and Minnie reminded me, have we changed our Apple Watch yes. faces to the Mickey time? Yes. Can I see it? Can everybody show me your Mickey watch face, please? Now, does anybody know how to tell time on an analog? No. Yesterday we did a California Adventure. Today is Disneyland. We got our Mickeys on our watches. Disneyland on three. One, two, three. Disneyland! Disneyland. <laughs> Rexon, we are actually in Disneyland on your birthday, and guess what? The castle is decorated for Christmas. It's totally Christmas like that, which is a little bit weird. They just transitioned from Halloween to Christmas, but bro, you've been asking for this, wanting this for a long time to be here on your birthday. How does it feel? Good. Pretty good? I love you, dude. You're so I subtle. Love I love it. Can I see that shirt real quick? Ninth birthday? We got ninth birthday with the Mickey on it. We got Brexy. Happy birthday, Brex. And we are in the happiest place on earth with the happiest kid on earth. Brexy Doodle on his birthday, baby. <laughs> First ride of the day on your birthday. Woo! What are we doing, bro? Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, dude. This one is legit. Sweetness of our Brexy. He wanted to do a ride that Mana wanted to do because typically I think he would have gone for Space Mountain. Space Mountain is normally his number he one go-to ride. He wanted Mana to go and she doesn't like those kind of rides, so he chose Indiana Jones. That is sweet Brexy in a basket right there. I know. <laughs> Brexy holding his sister's hand, Hazy. This one's kind of intense, a little bit scary. Hazy, you got this, girl. Indiana Jones was a pretty intense start to the day. I don't remember that thing being so wild, but yeah, it was, that was awesome. Dude. Awesome. Now, next but up. I passed my driver's uh, No, Riley was driving. We said it was his test for his learner's permit. I'm gonna say you're gonna probably have to wait a few years, buddy. Uh, but we went to Pirates of the Caribbean, one of the all time classics, one of the all time favorites, right next to Indiana Jones. It is a walk on five minute wait, guys. We're crushing the park early on a Saturday on a birthday. Pirates of the Caribbean coming up next, and then, right, guy? I think we should probably eat after that. Yes. We want some breakfast, we want some beignets. We're hungry. We're hungry. We have done Indiana Jones and Pirates of the Caribbean. Time for some breakfast. Mom came here with her friends and got these Mickey beignets covered in powdered sugar with strawberry mint and juleps. Oh my gosh, I've never had them, but when I saw the video of her getting them, I was like, next time we go, we have to get those. Looks so good. Are you shaking up the powdered sugar? Yeah, it goes Light just pack. all in the bottom. I love it, shake it up, dude. Hi, it's right, me, right, right guy. Look at my hair. Oh, that's amazing. But I will say, <laughs> beignets, I think they were delicious, right? Very good, yeah. Covered in powdered sugar, very messy way oh, and we put to even eat. More powdered sugar on. And we don't, you have some on your face, like right there, no joke. Oh, other side right there. We were cleaning it off for a good 10 minutes, but now, right next to that is the Haunted Mansion, which is decked out and themed for Christmas right now. Woo! Kind of fun. Also, a classic. Gotta do it, gotta get it in. I don't know what the line is like right now. Can you see? Doesn't matter, we're getting in line for it, so we're gonna do that one next. Okay guys, Haunted Mansion, are you ready, Brexy? Yeah. Hazy, are you ready for the Haunted Mansion? Not so much, okay. <laughs> Haunted Mansion, I have to tell you, it is a thousand times cooler. Oh my gosh, Christmas is my holiday favorite. themed. It's like, I think they leave it for Halloween and Christmas, correct me if I'm wrong, very similar, but it's got so much more in there that's not in there when you do the normal ride. It's like so much more fun, so much more color. So fun. It's absolutely amazing. They've got 
snow, a little sand river. I think it's really cute. It makes you feel like a kid because it's larger than life. Right. Speaking of larger than life, you guys, we are standing in Batu right now, which is a planet in the world and universe and galaxy of Star Wars. Mom scored us Rise of the Resistance passes in the virtual queue today, so we are going on Rise of the Resistance. Mom and Papa's first time. We're savvy veterans. Our favorite ride on the planet. This, this planet one is so Or any fun. other. But to start it off, to kick it off, we're going to show them this amazing world here and go on Smuggler's Run yes. while we wait for our virtual queue passes to come up and then Rise of the Resistance, you guys. Be awesome. All right, here we go, guys. We're going in. We're listening for green. In all the times we've been on this smugglers run, we've never been able to sit on this little table right here. Call us up pretty quick. Me and Brex are gonna be the pilots. Brex gets to be the pilot for his birthday. We got two gunners, two engineers. It makes sense that we'd have Papa be the engineer. He can fix anything. We're hoping he can fix this ship for us as we crash it all over the place through the galaxy. You ready to go? I gotta admit, I've never been the pilot before, Brex, and you're gonna have to help me out. Oh my gosh, this is one of the greatest things right here. This is VR on a new level, guys. I'm doing up and down, Brex is doing left and right, going on a smuggler's run. Are you guys ready to smuggle? Gunners, are you ready? Engineers, let's go! We just finished up on Smuggler's Run. It was the perfect warm-up to Rise of the Resistance. That one was awesome. Our virtual queue has just been called for Rise of the Resistance. We are headed there right now. This is like the feature. It is the reason we are here. It is why we rise. But first, you gotta eat. First we had to eat, but then we rise. Rise of the resistance going down right now. This is what we're here for, Hazy. Are you ready to rise? Yeah, I am mostly. So they got it just because of me, because I really, really love my favorite ride, so yeah. <laughs> there appear to be a number of small craft All of you will disembark immediately. Go we'll ahead straight to interrogation. Now get off the ship. Guys, this is the moment. Mana, we left the planet. The first order, I'm gonna let you break rules. We are on an outer planetary, other galactical experience here. We have been boarded. I guess they sucked us into the tractor beam. The first order is now in charge. We are going to an interrogation room right now, but I will never give up the location of the resistance unless they ask me nicely. Guys, don't be too hyped. We're about to be interrogated. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. Guys, I called some friends. I think they're here. Breaking you out. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Kylo Ren's gonna wait. Ryler, we are getting out of this place right now. We're getting busted oh, out. Are you ready to rise and so. resist against the first order? Brexton, are you ready? Crew. <laughs> Let's get out of this place now. Kylo Ren does not stand a chance. Even though I love him, you're amazing. I would follow you probably, but I can't because I'm in the resistance. Okay, here we go. Did it work? Bye. This is my favorite part. Look at this. Woo! This is amazing.
Target. We did it! We escaped! Yes, I love it. I like this. I love this moment right here. We cannot say it enough, but that is the ride of all rides. That thing is insane. It is an out of this world experience. Rexy Doodle, you rode Rise of the Resistance and escaped the clutches of Kylo Ren on your ninth birthday. What more could you possibly do? A lot more. We need to do Big Thunder Mountain, Matterhorn, Space Mountain, all the epic roller coasters. Rexy wants them all done today on his birthday, so we're hitting them up next. We admittedly have not been going very quickly through things today. There's been a lot of snacking, a lot of eating. We have yet to do some of the biggest and best coasters. Now, like part of the problem is we wanted to do Big Thunder Mountain and then it shut down for a minute. Space Mountain is next on our list. It's one of Brexy's favorites. It's how we would have started the day, but he wanted to give Mana a chance to go on the first ride with us. So Mana and Mom are gonna go off and do something while the rest yeah. of us get in line for Space Mountain right now. Then it's time to crush a couple coasters. This one followed by Big Thunder. That one down coming up yeah. next. Yeet. <laughs> This is cool, here we go, woo, let's go. Hey, easy girl, we're going on Space Mountain, are you ready? Yeah. She's ready. Just like that, it is already nighttime. The sun has set entirely, and then Disneyland takes on a whole new look, a whole new face when the lights come on. It's like you're at a brand new park. Seeing all the bright lights everywhere kind of just brings it all to life. Guys, we just had to take a pause, a quick moment. The kids are doing the Autotopia cars, which I've gotten too big for, as in I don't fit in them. We just had to give a huge thank you and a major shout out to all of our amazing members of the This Is Howard Bingham family around the world. We have had the great opportunity to run into so many of you here. It's so been many. crazy, and you guys are the sweetest, kindest, most thoughtful people. We've had people come up with with gifts for Brexit that they've been carrying around the Actually, park. Actually, you We've guys. We've seen multiple people wearing our merch around the park. It's so cool. It's amazing when we see that. We've given hugs, we've heard fun stories, we've shed a tear, we've smiled. We've just loved meeting you. It's been incredible. And guys, every time that happens, we're reminded, this is what we do it for. This is who we're talking to when we're talking to this camera in the middle of a park and everyone walking by staring at us. We're talking to you guys. We do this for you because we love sharing and documenting our lives and sharing with you guys because you guys are incredible. You're the most thoughtful people we've ever met and we're so grateful to you. The thing that we hear almost every single time when we meet you guys is you're like, I wasn't sure if I should say hi. We love it. It's like Please our favorite part of the day. Never feel like you're intruding. We love it. We love taking pictures with you guys. We love, we just love it. We love the whole bit. It reminds us of why we do what we do. And so much love for Brexy on his birthday. Oh, here in yeah. person from people and also all over social media, Instagram, so many well wishes. You guys are just incredible. You lift our spirits. Just make life better and we love sharing in this life journey with all of you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. gathered here with probably the rest of Southern California here in Disneyland for the fireworks show. Now the reason this is a big deal you guys, they haven't done fireworks shows in a very long time. So fireworks at Disneyland, hard to beat. On a birthday, now that's straight up unbeatable you guys. Fireworks going down in 10 minutes. We're right here and there are lightsabers behind us. How cool is that? No joke, that was like the coolest thing ever to have happen. Fireworks a little bit cooler. Next.
a firework show the most magical way to end a birthday you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Brexton, have you Not had a good just ninth any birthday? Ordinary yeah. Firework show though. That was the coolest firework show I've ever seen in my whole life. You know what I love is that Brexton's favorite part of the firework show was actually the music. He was just singing along to all the songs. He loved the music. It was really cool. <laughs> it was amazing. And we were so glad we could be here for this to be here with Brexy Doodle on his birthday. You guys have been so kind and wishing him a happy birthday. He's felt the love from all around the world, you guys. You guys, we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with us on this Disney trip. You guys, this is closing out our last day here. Tomorrow we head home, and that's always an adventure, so make sure you come back. See how that trip goes. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow, we'll guys. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. And good morning everyone. Welcome back. We are here today at our final day in California. We're only here for a few short hours. In fact, we didn't think we'd have time to do anything this morning besides pack our bags, check out the hotel, go to the airport, but we have enough time because thanks to the time change, we got an extra hour of sleep. Heck yeah, you guys, I woke up at 8.30, but I set my alarm clock for eight o'clock and I was like, I oh slept God! in! <laughs> Total home alone it moment. It was 7.30. Thankfully, we did not, guys. So that gives us enough time to hit Jamba Juice, which the kids have been wanting to do since we got here. Because every time we walk yes. out of the hotel, we walk by and like, can we get Jamba, can we get Jamba? We said, on our way out of town, if we have time, we'll grab a Jamba Juice. So getting that for breakfast, I think we almost also might have a little bit of extra time to possibly either ride the monorail, maybe Hazy wanted one thing at the Disney store that we didn't get a chance to get. I don't know what we're going to be able to do, but we're going to hit up downtown Disney, hang out a little bit here, but then we got to hit the road, get to the airport, get to that crazy LAX, and get on our airplane home. Yeah, it's going to be a fun day of travel. Since we got here, we've been seeing people walking around with these cool little characters on their shoulder. They, they can stay on your shoulder and guess what? They're magnets. So it's got a magnet plate that goes underneath your shirt on your shoulder. Then you set the character on your shoulder and it stays there. It magnetizes. So she's been wanting one since we got here. And so we said if we've got time before we leave, we can get that as a fun souvenir. Now it'd be more fun to walk around with on your shoulder in the park. But I still think it'd be fun to walk around with a rat on your shoulder at home, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> It is time to give this grand hotel a grand goodbye. Leaving the Disney's Grand Californian right now, headed home. So cool. Our favorite part is this dang lobby. Ragai yeah, and I, I every really night, wanted, wanted to come to chill. Come down here, but my dad was too lame and he. Couldn't. What the heck? That is not at all what happened. I was editing at night and I thought, yeah, hey, if I get ahead on the edit, we'll go down there and just chill. And I never really time. got ahead. We never got to do that. But that's because we ran it pretty hard. Yeah. We went to bed pretty late each night, and we had a ton of fun. This has been an amazing hotel, conveniently located. We have had more fun than I can imagine, packed into two days. Now it's time to head back home, heading to the airport. Mom's getting the car from the valet right. Right now, we're gonna be on our way to LAX, so the craziest, busiest airports oh I've gosh. ever seen in my entire life. We're gonna have a quick little short flight home, and we get home at a pretty decent hour, like yeah. uh, just in time for almost dinner. Get ready for bed, and get ready to go back to school. So Disney Grand Californian, you are grand, Peace. and goodbye. have arrived at LAX, the craziest airport in the oh world. My I'm gosh. convinced. I would not choose to fly into this airport, but... It worked out those cheaper tickets, but it is very busy. So much going on. The good news yeah. is they got a lot of great food options. That That's is nice. A good thing. We're gonna go find something fun to eat. TSA was a breeze. Kids did amazing. They did awesome. I feel bad. Mom had to go through with general boarding and had a little breeze. bit of an issue with the TSA people there. But let's just say they she got wasn't through. the happiest. She wasn't a Disney cast member. We will say that. We've been very spoiled Certainly with Disney cast not. members. LAX TSA, not quite that same level of positivity. No, no. Regardless, we are through, we are in. We're gonna sit down. I think there are no seats, so we might find a spot of floor to sit on. You can see it is insanely crowded, you guys. LAX, maybe one of the busier airports. This particular terminal slammed today, and it's just a regular Sunday. A little bit of chaos going on here. We're gonna wait it out, boarding in about 20 minutes, yeah. grab a bite to eat, and then head home. Yeah.
So mom has got her eye on this. When we landed, she saw this and thought she wanted to pick it up. Now the reason being, not necessarily a huge LA Dodgers fan, not even a New York Yankees fan, but she picked up it's cute. a really cool hat in New York and it would be cool to have both hats on opposing coasts. I, know, I think that'd be kind of cool. The question is, do I get white or blue? I feel like white would be cuter and more fun. Blue is definitely right. more like classic. I don't know. I kind of do want this. I think you should get it. Then you've got the LA and the New York. What color did you end up getting in the New Wait, York? Wait, this is football, right? Oh my I gosh. Am oh my gosh. I'm you just kidding. offended it's so many people baseball. right now. I know it's baseball. <laughs> It is? Uh, I thought it was basketball. Shut up. <laughs> Boarding the plane, getting on, ready to head home. We are about an hour and a half flight. No big yeah. deal, right? We can do this. I do think that even though we just had lunch, I'm going to be ready to have dinner when we get back yeah. home. Yeah. One of the best parts, in-flight snacks. Got some good candy. Got some snacks coming away. We got some games. Right, guys, do you have your iPad mini with you? Sure do. Let's go. Birthday weekend is over, time to head back home. Did you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what movie are you gonna watch on the way home? Ratatouille. How come? Because. <laughs> Oh my in gosh. Utah! Sorry, it seemed like you were yelling. It was a very quiet plane ride, and this airport's very quiet too. It's a lot quieter here than LA, I'll tell you that much. I was just trying to get on your same level. <laughs> You're bringing it up a notch for me, thank you. But well, guys, uh, gotta grab our bags, get into our car. But we're home, we're back. We're home, and guess what guys? We have one problem. It's dinner time, and I don't know what to feed the family because... I know, ego sandwiches. That's what the kids want. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna go home, find something to eat, but you guys, today's been an awesome day of travel. It's been fantastic. It was a great start the today. The kids do so well. They travel great. So so good, they're well behaved. My parents, they did pretty good, you know. It's a good flight. We're gonna get our bags and head home. Just stepped outside and you can feel a chill in the air. We are officially back in Utah. Should we go home and put up our tree? <laughs> it's putting me more in the mood than I was in LA, I'll tell you that much. It got hot in the day there. Like, I mean like 80 degrees in the sun, sweaty hot. <laughs> then as soon as the sun would go behind a cloud or behind a building, freezing immediately. Jacket on, jacket on, jacket on, jacket on, jacket on. shirt off for maybe two hours total. And in the night, very, very cold, a Chilly. wet human cold. Here, back home, a dry, bitter cold. Hit me in the face right now. Literally, the wind hit me in the face. It's cold here, I'm maybe. I'm kind of excited because it feels like the season are coming. Time to start thinking about the holidays. We are back home. Oh, hi! <laughs> it's me, Mickey! Get out of here. Mickey. Just kidding, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought for sure Mickey came home with us. I mean, how cool would that be? <laughs> Mickey maybe didn't come home with us, but the magic did. That was so much fun. It was so fun, you guys, as my dad hugged me. Chris, he started crying. Okay, he's not gonna probably love that you said that. He got Teared teary. up a little bit, choked up a little bit. In fact, he had to use my sleeve to wipe They were tears. very, very grateful. They're amazing. It was so fun was to treat so them to that sweet. weekend and that experience. And Mana had a couple gift cards, so they kept treating us to all the food we ate. Heck yeah. So that was a win-win for everybody. And you know how we like to eat. <laughs> but guys, I had to tell you this we got home and Mindy's like hey it's perfect timing to get home we can get the kids into bed we'll wind things down look at it it's 6 30 can you believe the sun's already set and I said sweetie it's 6 30 because we haven't changed our clocks it's 5 30 the sun has set it's yeah, 5 it's dark 30 outside. after the time change and it's not quite time to put kids to bed but we are going to get things put away yeah I mean I can at least bathed. go put away the dirty laundry maybe start a load get school clothes ready for tomorrow Eggo sandwiches all around that's really what we're having for dinner all the we good 
no food again. We don't even have milk, we don't have eggs, and we don't have bread. So Costco haul coming soon. Hit the like, it's coming your way. We're gonna wrap this vlog up, close yeah. up this weekend, this epic vacation. It, it was, was incredible. Oh so good, you guys, and thanks for hanging out with us. We said this in yesterday's video, to all of you that said hi to us when we were in Disneyland, that was so cool. So thank you for saying Highlight hi. Highlight of the trip. All the sweet messages for Brex on his birthday. Can't believe that boy's nine years old. What a way to celebrate. And guys, lots of big time things going down with the house, so you do want to make sure you are subscribed with the bell on. We've got full foundation concrete being poured. Concretes? Concrete? I don't know. It's being poured this week. That yeah, is going down. Week. We're going to start forming up the house. It's going fast. It's wild, you guys. This is really happening. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.